Hi, welcome to story time for the week of April 5th. Today I thought I'd read some bunny stories and then show you a bunny craft. If you'd like a bunny craft kit, you can pick it up at the children's room at the library anytime we're open and while supplies last. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 973-538-6161. Our first story is a surprise for Rosie. Do you guys like surprises? I certainly like surprises. Rosie liked to know everything about everything, but Daddy Rabbit was planning a special surprise. Rosie kept trying to guess what it could be, but Daddy Rabbit only smiled and said, wait and see. But Rosie couldn't wait. While the other rabbits were napping one afternoon, she hopped out of the burrow. Rosie hopped across the stream, up the hill, and through the meadow. Brushing buttercups, over the clover, under the sun she hopped, around the big tree, past a small tree, and over a log she hopped. And behind the log she found a bunch of acorns hidden in a fallen hollow tree. That's not your surprise, chattered a scampering squirrel. Do you know what my surprise is? She asked Rosie, bouncing up and down. Yes, it's shaped a little bit like an acorn, said the squirrel. Then he scampered off with some twigs and Rosie hopped on. She asked the butterflies and the bees if they had seen her surprise. She asked the sheep and the cows if they had seen it. She asked the mice and the moles if they had seen it. And as she was asking the moles, she saw a secret entrance into the mole's tunnel. That's not your surprise, sniffed the burrowing moles. Do you know what my surprise is, asked Rosie, hopping around. Yes, we do. It's not a tunnel, but you can go in it, said the moles. Then they burrowed off to work on their tunnels. Rosie searched under stones and snail shells and bits of a twig. She searched through the dappling sunshine of the forest. She searched among the straggly tangles of the bushes, and in the bushes she found a nest full of blue eggs. That's not your surprise, chirped Mommy Bird. Do you know what my surprise is, asked Rosie, sniffing the breeze. Yes, it's blue, a little bit like our eggs, said Daddy Bird as he fluttered to the nest. Rosie hopped along up a steep hill. She found a stone shaped like an acorn, but that wasn't her surprise. She found a fern-covered den that she could go in, but that wasn't her surprise either. She found a flower as blue as the bird's eggs, but that wasn't it either. What could her surprise be? Rosie stood on her tippy toes. She looked over the woods and tumbled down, down, down the hill. Rosie rolled head over heels. Bumpity bump, up in the air and down on her tail fell Rosie, slipping and sliding, skidding and skittering, with four paws flying she tumbled. Rosie finally landed in a heap with a bump and a thud and the little last thump. There, then she sat up, twitched her ears and gave a sad sniff. I'm never gonna find this thing, she said, brushing dirt off her fur. I'm tired of looking and hopping, she said rubbing her bumped bunny nose. Too tired for your surprise, asked Danny Rabbit, hopping up. Come with me and see. Your huge blue balloon of a surprise. Jump in and ride with me. Rosie jumped in. Now I can see the whole wide world. I can see everything. And that was a surprise for Rosie. This one is every bunny dance. Nobody's watching. Now's the perfect chance. Ready bunny, steady bunny. Every bunny dance! And clap your paws and twist and twirl and shake your tail and wiggle and whirl.
everybody play and bang a drum and play the flute and blow a horn, a tooty toot toot. Everybody sing. Fa la la, tree li li, do dee do do, fiddle dee dee. <gasps> Fox. Everybody run. Stay very still. Don't make a sound. Hold your breath or you'll be found. Every bunny watch. A dainty waltz, a pirouette, a somersault, a clarinet. A graceful bow, a quiet sigh, a lonely fox, a tearful eye. Every bunny clap. And gather round, and cheer and sing, and call bravo, and all join in, and run and jump and dance and play. All together, every day. And that is every bunny dance. This one is found. You ever lost anything? One day, Bear found something in the forest. Bear thought it was the most special thing he had ever seen. He gently carried the toy bunny home. This lost bunny seemed sad, thought Bear. He wanted to help find its home. With flyer stag tie, Bear set off. Bear posted flyers on every tree. There were many treasured things that were lost, but not a toy bunny. He searched high and low for its owner, but no one came for the bunny. Bear wished the bunny was his to keep. But the bunny's family must be so worried, thought Bear. Poor, lost bunny. The next day, Bear and Bunny swung on a tire, played hide and seek, picked juicy blackberries, and had a picnic. It was the perfect day until... <gasps> Flopsy! My bunny, said Moose. Bear screeched to a stop. Bear handed the bunny to Moose. The bunny was finally going home. Flopsy, my dear old friend. As a young calf, Moose had loved Flopsy very much. Goodbye, Flopsy. Wait! Moose was glad to see Flopsy, but special toys are meant to be passed on to special someones. Will you take a good care of Flopsy for me, said Moose? Asked Moose. The bunny wasn't lost anymore. Flopsy was home, safe and found. And that is found. Okay, our craft today is a bunny who just lost his eye. Okay, it's a bunny in the grass. Oh, sorry. And there it is with his eye. Okay, in your craft kit, you will get grass, a bunny head, two bunny ears, two inner ears, 
a nose, and two googly eyes. And when you glue it on, you get a bunny. But mine is only a one-eyed bunny right now. Hopefully yours will be a two-eyed bunny like that. Enjoy making your bunny. Bye-bye. Have a good day.